Yeah. Give me a little air there. Just give me a little air, please. Oh, um, but um, again, um, it's just a matter of um, really looking at how far does your um, your trust in Him goes. Really, it's it's how far does it go, and that's something uh, I think that we I don't think I know we need to look at. We need to examine. You know, if you look at it, what He gave us, uh, it's a simple writing. I think it's just for a complex people though. We're real complex people, person, you know, individual or people as a whole, um, because there's a lot of things you have to kind of, kind of figure. Because when every time you look at things, you're always gonna look at it from whose perspective? Yours. Everybody got a different ideology when they come down to how things should go and how we see things, and um, the way things should go is that everything should somewhat kind of interlock and kind of work together. Um, and that's something that we don't actually do because everybody's so individualized, you know what I'm saying? And we forget, we all connect, and there's not an emotion, there's not a feeling that another person hadn't felt or thought they hadn't thought about. But it would seem as though you would be the only one. And that's kind of what trips us up to me in life, is the fact that we don't consider people are just like you. They're just like you. Everybody got problems, everybody got situations, everybody just deal with it differently. It's just sometimes you don't think about them, you're dealing with what you're dealing with, and you're looking at your end, just who cares about anybody else's problem? Because you got to deal with yourself. And the way he kind of uh, organized and set us up as a people, uh, as a GUI, as a nation, is that we become, we talked about before, being interdependent. Can we see interdependent, please? Dependent, yeah, definition. Appreciate it. <sighs> Interdependent, it was an adjective of two or more people or things dependent on each. That's us. That's uh, that's amazing to say that. Cause you know what Yahushua told him. That's what he said. What he said he'll do. And so, do you know what's good about that? When you just pray by yourself. That's why I stay by myself. I do. It, it just, you know what I'm saying? You get more done when it's just you. And when you, and it's just you, you ain't got to worry about nobody else. You ain't got nobody. You, you know, it just gives you the time between you and him. And you get more accomplished. And you can see him work more in your life when it's just you. Because people hold you up. How that sound what I just told y'all best out what y'all just looked at? So how effective have you been? See what I'm saying? Y'all know who y'all, right? How how effective have you been? See, you need, and that's a man. He told you what two or three of them. Um, he said, "I be in the midst, and you be by yourself." And he's work, and he working, but he working it for you though. When it's working, you just gotta let it kick. You can't explain it, cause you know what I'm saying. Cause he working mysterious ways like that. You know what I'm saying? How it worked just for you, how you are by yourself, but everybody else has got to be two or three gathered. That's why it don't make sense. I mean, you, you, you're, you're more or less set up, you know, we know we talk about organization, but like an organism, how they work. You know what I'm saying? Everything function off of one another, you know what I'm saying? They create what we have today. And a lot of times we don't see that, how it works for us, how we all have to be stay in the same mind. You think about this, your brain processes, takes things, and your body is working um, based off ability of your mind as well. They all, your mind plays a key part to killing out everything, even how long you feel like going on. If you feel like dying, you put enough in your mind, your mind will start shutting down things for you. It is, you just feel like, listen, I've been a man, I don't feel I can go no further. Once you're gonna put out your mouth, that, that came from your mind. And your mind, had, and your, your body had bought into it, the organ, otherwise things just start shutting down. They start shutting down because I mean, they bought into that concept. Your mind plays a vital part of what you do and how you look at things. But when it's all functioning together, look at what you get out of your body, what you can do. And they look at how much more we can do when we all start functioning together. Like we're supposed to. Everybody working at individual um, places, just like the organ. You don't, the liver not going to run down there and move no toe. It's like, so I'm dealing with you. I'm not doing it. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to absorb all the nutrients we can get. I'm going to hold it. And I'm going to use it when we got it. But I'm going to need whoever down there told to do their job. 
And we're going to be able to get everything we need to do accomplished. So it's that important for you to realize you connect to a people. So decisions you make are critical. Just like certain things you put in your body. Y'all agree? Certain things in your body become detrimental? Poison. How many of y'all have drank, drunk poison before? Anybody drunk poison before? You think you have? No, you been funny. Yeah. I'm, I'm really not being funny. Who? You drunk alcohol? Well, not on that level, but that does. I'm tired. We're tired of work. You drunk poison? Acetone? Ain't that them gloves? She said she drunk isotone. Oh, okay. That's the other one. Oh, clean the brakes wet. Let me see this question. Was it purposely or how did it work out? I know I might say I'm being funny, but I want to know how did it work out? You say you didn't drink all, you did what? She went out spinning out. Y'all know what happened? It was a decision she made with her brain. Her brain made that decision, just like I would do. It made the decision to go ahead and do it. Was it an attempt on, I want to end my life? And her brain came up with it, told her to do it. But you know how the mouth worked? I ain't buying it. The mouth told her I wasn't buying it. That's why she spit it out. See, the gateway into your body, one of your major gateways, is your mouth. That's one of your line of defense for it get to your belly. You taste it. You say, what the world is this? You know what the stomach say? Listen, if you want to do something, I'm open. I'm open for whatever you want to do. I ain't going to fight it. Not unless I have to. So if it can get past that mouth and that mouth will buy into it and do it, I try to do what I can do with it. So it's counting on that mouth when it catch that taste to catch some saying, some taste funny about this. Taste it for me and tell me you think. I know it tasted kind of funny. Both these mouths are communicating saying, it don't need to go no further than him. Get it out. Get them now. and wipe it out. Get some. Get me something. It's like, I don't know what this stuff is. It's designed to work to do it because it better protect it. Because once something get here and it can break down here, it can dispense through my whole body. And we got organs now involved. We got a whole lot that can go on. So that mouth plays a major line of defense. So I caught it. I caught it. We spit it out. And what the, stunt, and what the mouth meant just because it runs so much. And they say, you know what? I've been with him It's probably nothing. Because the mouth won't be stupid. The stomach said, I'm going to have to get rid of this. I don't know what decision. I don't know where he missed it at when he got it. He shouldn't have. He should have. He should have caught that little and should have said, don't. No, I'm good. I'm not eating it. But I'm here to get the rest of it out of here. Because they're all working together for the self-same purpose. My goal is to get it out of there before it gets dispensed somewhere else. See, just like the goal of putting the word in us now so it can go down and get the cartain out of us before it wind up putting us somewhere else. See, all these are lines of defense. That's all these are lines of defense. That's what I'm talking about. Lines of defense. That's all they are. Y'all got, like a quarterback. You got a quarterback and scramble and run, don't they? They still got a line. These lines, before they get to you, before I have to do that. Before, and then when they get hit, you know they're looking at? What side that runner came from? You miss your assignment. Because your God would have protected him. See, just how they work. That's the same thing your body's supposed to do. Like in here now, we got an opportunity to use these eyes, the ooms. These are for your appearance, for you to help with your intelligence, and help you to decipher things, to start to make decisions. What are the best decisions to make for you? And these are things you got to look at. A lot of these things are lines of defense. And we miss it every time. For some reason, our defense is down. Y'all know that? That's it. When we went up to take down the people under, I think, under Hushua, he said we're ready to go up. He said the defense is down. They look at that. Listen, you don't have a wall. What you think the purpose of having a wall when we run Jerusalem? Huh? Because we were standing up. No, that's our first line of defense. <laughs> that's the first line of defense to keep you out. Because the goal is not to let you get in here. And that's what you got to do with that mouth. When it's opening, what comes out of what come in? He told you it ain't what go in the mouth to defile the man. What come out of him? Isn't that right? He said, that's going to come in from him. It's going to come from him inward working. It's like you vomit. Only thing going to come out of your vomit. Probably, what, how many of y'all vomit up a shoe before? Anybody? How about a high heel? How about a watch? Why y'all never, never did that? That's what he looked at. He said, the only way he can come out, it had to go in there. It had to go in there for it to come out. Him. Man, where that come from? It was in there. So we're learning this about ourselves. And, and that's, that's something I think as people, 
we don't, and even for me, I'm learning to unlayer myself even more. Because there are things about us that are hidden parts that we don't really consider that you can more or less, and you say it ain't a problem, but it, it can become a problem when you're being tested. When he's trying to get you and he's trying to show you and like different things happen because it show you where you at. A lot of times you don't realize, you might, man, I lost, I lost. But if, I, if, if it grows me to where I have a better relationship with him, because that's important to me. And I, I want y'all guys to be honest and I ask you this. Why are y'all here? You don't have to answer me literally. Be, be honest with yourself. Why are you here? Because you haven't heard this before. And you still had not done it. How serious is this for you? Let me tell you something. If you, if you sit here and you stay here and you don't get the real hockey dice, shame on you. Shame on you. You should have never sold out for nothing less than that. I know a lot of y'all at first, I'm going to get seven, get right. And you're being, you got comfortable. I, I, won't, I wouldn't do that to you. That's a bad bill. Somebody say that bill. You, you tell me a relationship with us, laughing, hanging out with us, beat, being with him, and you're going to burn. Our turn. It ain't like we can just, he's going to say, you know what? Since y'all like to be together, I'm just going to leave all y'all together when everybody else is going to burn everybody. You might say, okay, well, we're pretty good together. But he said, no, that's not our turn. Our turn, you're going to burn. I mean, that's all because, listen, this is used as a persuasion. You're talking about a strong persuasion. Let me write for a second, please. I'm going to need you to, uh, I'm going to just walk that way, but I'm going to need you to go that way. I'm going to go that way. Was it hard for you to get over there? Mm -hmm. okay. You had problems with persuasion? Yes, That's how he wanted to be. Because if I leave it to him, he might decide he don't want to go that way, really. What's the point? So the push is there. Now, what he had to do now at this point, what he can do, he can fight it. Come by for a second. Now I need you to go that way, but don't, you don't, but you don't want to go that way. Come. Come this way. Come this way right here. Come come no, 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 no. Come. Come this way right here. My brother. My brother. Who know, who, tell him who called. My brother, my brother called. I'm talking about steady going. Like, what happened? <laughs> This is going to make it better, though, ain't it? No, 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 come for a second. No, no to go, you, but okay. you don't want to go that way. Are you walking? I need you to go that way. Ring. Who could that possibly be? Who could that, my brother called. Come on, Pastor. <laughs> Man, he's just, Lee, and Lee is just rolling. Like, hey. Lisa, I ain't trying to fight it. Lee, I don't know what happened, Lee. So I, I, we're walking. I want you to go this way. You don't want to go that way. You're persistent going this way. All right. So now what he's doing now is what we do. He's fighting the wheel. What we saw, you good. Well, that's what I'm trying to show. Basically, this is what we do. We fight the wheel. That's what we do. That, you don't realize. I just told him what I wanted him to do. Y'all saw that? And I even tried to use persuasion. But he was dead set on this. How many of you have been guilty of this? We fight the wheel. So now we're sitting down looking at you can be here, but you're not actually where you need to be. You're in a place where you can get information, but you're not in a place in your setting where I'm really trying to open and submit myself totally to. Y'all got to give yourself holy to. You talking about, can I see what holy is with the H W H O L L Y? I know they hear me say holy sometimes, but I assure you I'm not talking about the other one. Fully. Now Eric was here. He's here. Eric's got his book. He's reading, he's doing that. But y'all can see when I start pushing, putting, when I started trying to impress the wheel on Eric. You, for the example, Eric resists it. Because there's a part of Eric, you hypothetically, not saying it, it's a part of Tony, let me do that, that does not want to fully comply. This is comfortable. Everything I do is comfortable until when some things become to be more impressed upon me. So now we're trying to get to this point right here. Holy. This the holy to me, every other church, every religion. This the holy everybody needs. This ain't a holy they can fight as a Greek, English, Hebrew, 
No, but don't this. You know what this? This I just add that this ain't nothing. No, re, nobody should. Every every church, every son of God, every Muslim, every Hindu, every Buddhist. What's wrong with holy? This holy. If you're going to submit to something, then it should be in a complete form in order for it to be. This this is when I say that in order for it to be beneficial. The problem becomes for us. Religion had been beneficial because we hadn't been holy. We hadn't completely submitted yourself. We're talking about submitting the mind. We're talking about submitting the body. We're talking about submitting the soul. You're breaking man down to all his three parts, all his three components. My body consists of what? My eye itself it is. Other than this, what, I, what, is, what does my body consist of? I'm sorry, just give me some members. Don't count this. What else? Arm. I get it on. Eyes. Legs. Toes. Back, stomach, chest, all that, tech head. Yeah, all those connect, but I keep this for myself. Because you don't want to take a chance and put everything in the pot and you wind up losing. That become a problem. That means everything. So if I submit it all to him, then I have to start now. I got to consider the involvement. How much can I commit? If you ask me to go, let's go do something or get involved in something, I got to consider how much involvement I can put in, especially since now I've already wholly dedicated to him. So I, the whole, the full amount, the whole entire to myself, I committed to him. So when I committed to him, how much, um, how much availability do I have for you with it? See, I don't. See, when people come to try to invite you into acts and different things, I committed my, I committed my facade to him. So that means certain things, I get the conversation, the language, what's going to proceed from the mouth, what's going to come or what I'm going to let in or get in my heart. All these things are going to be vital. It's going to be complete. It's going to be something I got to consider because I've said I've given to this holy. This is holy to him. You know what I mean? Entirely, fully. So I don't have that. I don't have that to give to John to do that because I've dedicated this. And this is something he's going to look at as thanks worthy. Let me ask y'all that while I'm talking because I don't, I don't have to take it long. Are you really trying to get the raw hockey down? Okay. If we try to do that, we're we going to really need to lock in and consider what's been holding us up. Holy is going to be it. Okay? W-H-O-L-L-Y has been our problem because we've kept back, like Adonai Sapphire, we have kept back part of it. Adonai, and what happened to them? How did that work out for them? They died. So let me ask you a question. That was a, that was a, a simple matter of money. That he said that was, who money that was? They, that, wasn't the money, that wasn't the Lord's money. Because he clearly told them that was your money. And you could have did what you wanted with it. He said, but the fact that you held back part of it, that's the part that really ignited me to get rid of you. Now, if that will buy some they possession, some natural possession, where's this going to put me at the fact that Tony has been able to hide out some lust, some lingering, some covetousness? What, what is it going to put me at? Is he going to regard me and say, well, that's different? They ain't like everybody gave it their stuff and that's right. They just kept back part of the money. They ain't the same thing like you not wholly dedicating yourself to me. You're not wholly giving me everything. You only give me what's convenient to you. Or am I in the same state they were in? See, when we read, we try to look for sometimes exact. When a lot of times you are exact, it's just you don't see it because you see another situation. Well, that ain't me because I pay my tithes off. You pay what you're comfortable doing, what's convenient for you. That don't put you in no stress. If you had a situation where you're in stress, you had to pay it, then you got to consider, I'm going to just have to double up next week. See, you can do that. But when you say holy, which is entirely fully, then that has to become, this got to be primary. Y'all got it? He becomes primary. If, you, if you're trying to get the real hockey down, don't let nobody fool you. Don't, don't, don't worry about what nobody else doing. I'm going to tell you some key secrets you're going to need to know. You're going to need to know how to wholly do this thing. You got to wholly commit that. Now, when it get to the inner man, there are things even with him he has to look at. You start to deal with emotion. That's not just flesh. That's emotion. Those are attached to your nafash. So you got to be careful now. You got to have constraint even on your emotion. Yeah, your emotion. Got, how many of you got pissed off and did some stuff you know, we shouldn't have done? And that's because of those emotions. And those are things. He said, I want you to direct. See, this is what he's looking at. If you love me, bar, let me borrow for a second. <clears throat> I want to get your attention. I want you to just pay me attention. I'm going to borrow for a minute, Leo. I'm going to try to get No, just me. And you talk with him. Just to so okay. get him up. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm trying to get you, and I want you to pay attention to what I'm trying to get you. 
and this is what I need you to do to try to do it. Now, is it you can see where you're trying to block him and try to do it? This is a tip of what you have to look at, and this, this is something you have to stay silent to. A lot of us get pulled a lot of time. People pull us away from. He said, but when you dedicate that attention, now he coming with some stuff to trying to influence him, he won't consent. And that's only because, that's good. That's only because, you heard it, if sinner, if Katain enticed him, why, why, why? Why? Get me out from what? From doing a great work? What kind of work? Right, you said a right work? Right like what? I don't ask y'all to just come and say question. What work? What, what get me out? Why should I listen? He, he could have been trying to give me some advice to help me. Let's just be honest. We talk, y'all talking, we're talking about we are people. We don't process like that. We process like what? We got questions. We need answers. You can, now we got all this logic and sense because we had it. We wouldn't be having that conversation. We're having that conversation because typically we don't have it. We don't really understand the point of why shouldn't I entertain? Why shouldn't I? My flesh is saying at least listen to the man. Is it a sin in listening? Goodness, man, quit trying to judge so quick. That's how we think. Because the flesh needs to know. We, we want them people. I got some person saying, don't open it. What's your man thinking? How can I figure? I can, he didn't say he couldn't shake it. It's some glass. <laughs> it, it don't work like that. When you tell her not to do something, the curiosity get like that. Just try to look around, just keep touching, rub it, spin it around before I shake it, just move it around. It ain't really that heavy. Really, I could pick this up, so I know it. I know what it ain't. You start praying. Once you know what it ain't, what I need to know now? I need to know what it is. I know what it ain't. I need to know what it is now. And that mind has us going. And now he's telling us, and he's telling us, that, listen, I, don't, I want you to just completely be sold on me. I want you to let that be a word. Don't let that be a thought to you, to where it trouble you or where it gets you off from. And that's something we miss. We negated that for a long time. And our minds like we do pretty good. But how many times, on the other hand, you wind up finding yourself digressing, that you go backwards because you'll tell yourself something and you sell yourself a false illusion or something, and that's really not where you're at. I, 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 ain't, I ain't got no time to lie to myself. I'm being honest. It's a waste of my time. I know it's a lie. It works. It made me feel good to do it, but you know it's a lie, and you're not progressing. So you have to get to some point where you get honest with yourself and start looking at what is it that he's really asking me to do? What are you really asking me to do? Because it, people obtained it, so it's obtainable. You paid, the, you said, I've done everything it takes for a man or woman to receive it. I've given you the word. He said, I've given you the word. I've given you raw. He said, of my own law. They're going to feed you with it. This is going to be a constant, making sure you get this information to make sure you understand exactly what it is you need to do and where you need to be at. And then we do what? Once we get it and it gets in him, and get in him, some kind of way it's a communication gap. As short as the distance from the brain to the ear. Think about it. I say something, it don't take long to get to your brain like a week or two later. They're so close. They're so close to make sure that, that's, think about it. He designed you. Why he just couldn't put it in your foot? Based off of how we process and do stuff, it, it would be more logical than to be that far away. But it's right here. The ear is right at the brain. So you can get it right and you can get it. You can start to process that. And you can start to break it down. And then you can start, like I tell you, weigh it against something. Everybody here should have a scale. You should have a scale. You should have, you should have a Ruotney scale. That when some come in and there's opportunities, weigh it. Where are you going with this? How long can you do it? And what's the end result when you get caught? That's how you got to do is weigh it. A lot of times, it might, people might be too slow. I need an answer now. Let me weigh it. I can't really tell you, say, tell me how much Bruce Lee right now. To be honest, I can shoot something out of my mouth. It'd be better if I could take him there and weigh him. I could be more accurate. So everybody needs to have a scale. Your scale needs to be based off of what do you know about the word? What, 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 basically, what are, the, what are the logics that he gave you when you transgress? What's the options? They all come up to the same way. It's death. This is, this is alarm. This is forever and ever death with burning involved. So now when I start to consider the decisions he tell me not to do and not to lust, not to covet, not to hate, not to cazole, not to do all to forgive, all these things, I got to start winning because when I don't do them, I got to win them. Because I, I, I got something getting done. I, I just, I'm, I'm just not there. I'm not there. I'm not. It's going to take me some time because how I am, I've been like that all my life. I don't just, you know what I'm saying? I had to like take me a little while. 
I got to deal with it. I got to wait. If he don't do nothing else in a certain period of time, a few months, then I might, it start more, it'd be more and more, it dissipate. Then I get back to, well, okay, I'm good with him. He said, well, I, I can't use people that process that long. Because it's impossible to give you a rule out when that's how you operate, how you think. How many of y'all kind of like that? It's, it take you some time, and sometimes it's something you mad, you hot to go. Well, we, and, that, and he said, and you know what? That's normal. That's very normal. He's trying to get abnormal people. Think about it. Everything he asks you to do, it don't fit in with everybody. Who does that? Who does that? They're like, you a retard or something? Why would you do that? I'm not going to get nobody doing They can burn in hell for us, I'm concerned. Yeah, and, you, and you ain't going to believe it. That's normal. He's looking for abnormal. Abnormal going to do things that are different. That's, see, that's the only way to get the difference. Because when you, if I can hate as long as somebody else hates that don't hear the word, and I can love as long as somebody else loves that don't hear the word, then what's the difference? Where does Kadash come in at? If I can hear once I calm down after I get through being pissed off, and then somebody at work here, when they get through getting pissed off, where's Kudash at? See what I'm saying? And that's, what, that's the only thing. Cause think about it. Look at, sometimes you can't identify people walking down the street. Oh, that person else said, oh, that person not. Oh, that person. Some people, I mean, pretty much you don't know people not. But you're trying to pick out saved people. Sometimes some of the people might say not saved might be the people that say. So unless there's something that differentiates between us, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's a major difference to where it's unmistakable, undeniable, and it ain't the clothes. The clothes are not unmistakable, undeniable. People wear them curtain rods and all, and they commit more katana. Anybody that don't wear curtain, they ain't got no curtains. They ain't even got windows. So don't use that. So there's got to be a behavior to where when we hear, that's what we do. Y'all got it? This, 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 listen, this is very critical for y'all. <laughs> this, this is very critical. You probably won't get it no more playing them. But we, we, we played around. We messed around a long time. Include me, I waste a lot of time. And you don't, but you don't know it. It went purposely, but re, whether purpose or not, it's time still lost. So now we're trying to come back and do what they call with the time. What was it? Redeem it. That means get it back to value. That's what you're doing. That's all it is. You're trying to make up for a bad aspect. That, you know, I, I, that's bad that I didn't know that. I appreciate he put some on the team. Redeem. I heard that from to anybody ask you, tell, tell them I'm redeemed. I didn't know that. I mean, I know redeem, okay, it's like something bad. But he said, no, you're making up for a bad aspect or something. That's bad, I didn't know that. That's bad. Not bad in a way where it's punishment to me by death it is, but it's bad. He looked at, you should have known that. And I want to get an opportunity for the time to be redeemed, that you can come back and get that right. And I appreciate that. You know, sometimes you before you like, it be people in life, hey, I don't know if any of y'all have that. Yeah, it like people you say, you want to see, I just want to get something right for me. If I could see them, I would like to get that right. You know, he's, that's what he gave us now, the opportunity to get this right now, because you won't get another chance. This will be your only chance, but in order to get it right, th this, this is something. Let me, let me get our basics out of the way. How about that? I know I'm just talking. Y'all just give me a little time, if you will. Listen, 15 and 4, Romans. Yes, sir. Listen. For whatever Nikita before. For whatever written before. Nikita, telometers. Teach so, us, show us, instruct us. So that through endurance. Going through without quitting. And through the nakum of the kitchen. And the comfort of the writings. We might have teeth. We got a court. We got an attachment. Okay. What is, he, what is he trying to get from us? Um, let, let's look at something. Um, what's the word I'm thinking about? Let's see what the word God here. It should be one word, God here. Let's look it up. Y'all heard the terminology you use, haven't you? Mm -hmm. A great God here, Christian belief. They believe it's a holy trinity. This is the problem we have with them. They, they look at it being a holy trinity, so we definitely can't use that as a God. But for us, what we found out in Yahushua, that all of the fullness of Elohim more or less dwelt in him. All the fullness of him dwelt in him. So we look at um, what, what, what were their understanding with Elohim? Um, one, that he was a Ruach, a spirit of something not seen. That's why when they look at the, the, the things that you look to compare it to would be the wind. You're going to use the wind because of how it moves. And it's a constant. It comes and it goes without restriction. Man doesn't control where it goes. So he more or less look at the Ruach kind of being the same way. So when a person possesses the Ruach, then he look at, okay, the way you operated before, you worked under the mandate. 
okay, as a man, as a woman, however you work under mandates. And, and being under that, there's a certain thing, a woman, lipstick, a different thing you put as a woman, fingernail powder, right, as women. These are things that women do, correct? The fingernail polish, the perm, a lot of these things do. Now when they obtain the ruach, the ruach comes and it kind of, it gives a different nature. So now the things that's commonly done aren't commonly done now because they're not coming for you. You understand? They're outside of the nature of Allahim. Y'all got what I'm saying? So now we're trying to get rid of the nature. We talked about what nature is. Nature determines what to do. That's what nature does. When you find things born or things, or things sprout on trees, fruit, pottery, that's nature. That's nature. That's how nature works. When you find something that's killed or dead, that's also nature. That's nature. That's nature's order. Nature shines and favors one. Nature takes another. It could be a, a baby chick. It could be a, anything. It could be an adult lion or whatever it might be, a cub, a cat, a dog, or a fish. That's nature. Nature determines what to do. So now when we look at the Ruach, the Ruach also has a nature too. The nature, the nature of the Ruach determines what to do. When he made Adam, he said, let him have. Nature had nothing to do with that. That was Allahim. He said, let him have it. Because I determined for him to have it. Let him have it and let him rule over it. I don't want no, I don't want it over it. I want him to rule over it. I want everything to be subject to it. That's a nature. And now we got to get back. Even when he told us how to be, when it came into the creation of man, it was all based upon a nature that had already been established. Ox today, trees today, are bearing pari based off of their own ideology or based off of the rule of nature that he established before. Well, he established a rule of nature for man before at, at the same. See, like we said, it hadn't changed. Ox still bearing fruit. Y'all ever y'all seen a tree bear cats or dogs? Watermelon. None of them come from trees. All that time. Hold on for that. All, hold on for that. Let me get this thing. People change. I could be a man from the beginning. Now I can be a woman. But a tree can't bear watermelon and cats and dogs. Paper. Where do you pay? I mean, not leave. I mean, cut it up if can. But I'm just, you see what I'm saying? All these different things have kept an order. Y'all got it kept an order. The only thing he finds that can't keep an order is man. And for me, watching us, based off self, is the fact we don't understand the nature or really understand what it was he ruled to say, this is what you have to take on in order to be, listen, you're trying, we're all trying to get to a place, okay? That people are called heaven. I don't want to fight words. Heaven, uh, whatever they want to call it, uh, some Orion. Some refer to it as Orion. It's written in King James to say Orion, which is the height. We, sh we say Shamaim, the height suspension where he dwells. When we look at his mouth, cool being established, whether up or down. I want to argue that fact, that point. I want to look at the fact of, for us, this is a place that we're trying to inhabit. Okay? Uh, in order to do that, we have to have some things that, um, let's say, Similar? Like, mm, does anybody live in apartments? Anybody? Okay. All right, those that live in apartments, typically, do they just let you just come there and just like, if I want an apartment, I can just go there and tell them I want an apartment, they'll let me get in there? What will I have to do? Application. Uh, application. So if I make half of what the rent is, since I filed the application, they'll let me move it down? No. What's typically a requirement? Three times the rent. So you tell me some people in now, then they don't make but half of the rent, or they don't make none of the rent, and they let them get an apartment? If they catch them, they're going to put them out. Because, see, those are basic requirements that everybody has to meet in order to get an apartment. So why wouldn't there be any rules that you have to have to meet to be able to inhabit the Malkuth Elohim? So those people all have something in common. So there has to be something in common with him and with other people that's going to cohabitate Shamayim or when he set his Malkuth up here on the rise. And what we want to do, we still want to be individual and be different and break away when there has to be some commonality with us. Y'all got it? So what he did, it put out the application what he's asking for. That basically, you can look at the application, you can see whether or not you get some people. You, look at, you got to make 15 times the rent. How many of y'all know walk away from that apartment? Don't even look at it. Yeah, that, that, that's ridiculous. I ain't even trying it. That's why he ain't asked you to do it, because he don't want you to walk away. He's trying to occupy every room. So he made it the way everybody can do it. Everybody can do it. It's all about now. We come down to the point of choices. Like how some of us, because we typically have been failure, failures, don't mean you failed at everything. It's just when something go our way, we'll say nothing works out. Some always come up, some happen. 
don't nothing ever work for me. And, and you know these are lies. That's what we do when we just, when we mad and we want stuff to counter. We want everything to work out. But there has to be a balance. Since we're all interdependent and we all kind of work and play off of one another, then it's only going to be natural that John should have an opportunity too. Which means it ain't your time now. And then Kayla need an opportunity, so it ain't your time now. But see, we start to understand that. Everything can't be your time every time. You know what I'm saying? Just like you got certain art, like winter. You got, you got produce that growing in the winter. Now, nobody, who looking for winter, winter vegetables in the summer? Nobody. In the summer, you're looking for summer fruit. In the winter, you're looking for what the winter does. But that, so winter shouldn't get its season because you want all summer fruit. See, see that? Because he designed it that way. Everything, he said to everything, what is it now? See that? So let me ask you a question. What time is it? See that? It's starting you to start realizing. If, if to everything is a time and a season, what did that tell you that man understood or man needed to know about nature? It's depth of snow on the ground. Why am I here looking for watermelons? This makes no sense. But I, that's what I got a taste for. It's, it's senseless. <laughs> It's futile. You're not going to gain anything from it. And basically, that's how we've been serving him. When you understand that things happen by a course of time. Things happen. When it came down to you, who should come here? What was we were waiting on for him? Fullness of now, No doubt there were people that were desirous of him to come early. Of course they should have. But it don't change the fact that you still got a season. And you know what that taught us to do? The wait. And patience. Yeah, patience. Going through without quitting. Because then you understand. See, that's like when you start to build a relationship with him. I'm talking about a practical relationship. We're not talking about impractical. Then you start to understand things on, it's a time for things. Like he told it's a time to weep. It's a time, man, I, not me, man. I, man I, it's a time. He said, it's a season to all these things. As a man, it is a time. You lose something that bad. It's, he says, it's a time for that. Why wouldn't he be crying? What you crying? What ain't nothing wrong? What was nothing? What was nothing? I just... So I don't know what time that is, but just basically time allots for different things. Now when he come in with the Ruach, he starts showing you how, again, now we start to learn how the nature of Elohim works. Because he said now it'd be a time that a man that has a wife, what was it? He started to ignore those seasons. Those seasons don't have the control. First, I need you to learn them for how they operate. So you understand that certain things have, you say, well, is their season? It's, it's season for it. So you understand, it's season, it makes sense. So now he told you, now you have to wind up doing things now, you have to be instant, what was it? In season, which makes sense, and? Now, see, I need you first to understand how nature works. So there are things you account say, that's time, somebody died, they're 159 years old, they died. You bust out crying, screaming, God, what happened this unfair? They was in the prime of their life. <laughs> it was time. You look at it, it was time. It's not out of ordinary. It was time for things like this to happen. So now he started telling you, just like people said, well, I can't be a certain way all the time. He said, well, with the nature that I'm going to give you, you can. I need you to understand that nature. And this is what he showed you. The Torah is law, which is direction, instruction, uh, codes of conduct. We agree? So whenever it tells you to do something, what are you supposed to do? Whatever conduct it calls for, what are you supposed to do? That's what you're supposed to have. Whatever code it is, what you're supposed to do. That's the code you keep. That's what you follow. So, but you ain't going to believe it. What we do in the tour game, we broke it, we didn't keep it, and they ain't got it. So now I tell you about doing something out of season, how, far, how hard is it for you? That's, so guess what? I showed you, first of all, when I gave you nature from the tour. I already predicated some things, and you didn't do them because you looked at it wasn't time. In the book of Kagi, they asked about building a house. He said he wanted a house built. You know what they looked at? They said it wasn't time. He said, wow. He said, that's amazing. I just told you to, to put the house back. And they said, it's not time. That's what they told him. They said, just it wasn't time. I ain't got no problem. I'll do it. I, all I'm just looking, though, if we're going to do seasons, if we're going to do time, I'm just being honest. It, it, don't, it ain't time. But then he told us, now I got to start teaching you how when I direct things, then this is the time, this is the time of the nature of the Ruach that you need to be obedient and compliant to. See, because now you subjected yourself to the nature of the flesh. 
or what you do, what you ain't going to do, and what you do. He said, now I'm trying to get you to adjust to the nature of the Ruach. So this is something we never really looked at submitting ourselves to. It's going to be cold 50, 50, they say like 50 in the morning. Pum, you got to, what you wearing tomorrow? You don't wear a short sleeve shirt? Huh? Why you going to wear a jacket? It's going to be 50 something. He, see how when he went to come and comply? He making mine. Regardless of, I like short sleeve, they comfortable there. It's going to be 50 something tomorrow. I got to adjust with the time. And that's not, and that's what? Normal. Not abnormal. So now he's saying, when I regularly tell y'all, the world finna end. How you need to be dressed? See? I ain't got no question. Nobody look at I'm trying to think. What season is that? Is that like fall or spring? <laughs> Man, I said the world gonna end. I need you to comply with that nature. Now, I just told y'all. No, when I asked him about the coat, he answered right off. I, asked, I said, probably 50 son tomorrow. He said, well, I'm trying to think, preacher. You count me on a loss. I don't know, 50 son tomorrow. It's a toss-up, flip a case, and I'm going to wear a jacket because it's going to be cool tomorrow. And that's going to be why, because you ain't going to want to get sick, right? So now I just told y'all the world in the end, what, what you need to wear? One person. I guess everybody else. Oh, I guess I said, Palmer got two jackets. So, so he said, and here's what cause he didn't want to get sick. What can sickness lead to? So where they going to wear in tomorrow? So what, I'm trying to figure out what, 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 what outfit you need to put on. How you need to adorn yourself. What, 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 what state you need to take on. See, these are things we don't, we hadn't really put down because it looks so far away, but yet it's so, this, listen, it's closer now in our time than it's ever been. This, this, listen, death is imminent for us. It's in, our young people. I, I, oh, y'all live on my heart. I, I know I fuss at y'all. I, it's because I, I like. I want y'all to line up to something. I need y'all to understand this because this thing is in it fast. It's in a whole lot faster than what people think. And I, I just, I don't see fifty more years of this. I, I can't see it. It's almost looking at ten more years. Of it. The world can't take it. Does anybody agree? How much more can the world take? When do you feel a new, and it's not, if it's not a bombing, if it's not a train, if it's not a flood, if it's not an earthquake, if it's not a fire, if it's not a disease, what is it? If it ain't massive crime waves. It's like, every time you look around, police arrested for kid, teacher arrested for kid, coach arrested for kid. You're like, what is going on? It's like everybody's mind is like, man, I'm just open for whatever. So I just told y'all the world going to end, how you need to done yourself. See that? And, that, and that? and that's going to be based off of nature. Nature determined it. Nature, nature determined it. He wants you to understand how nature works out here. Everything falls to the line of nature. He said, I, I only allow you to see this. So when I'm telling you, I am nature. I'm your nature. I need you to allow me to be able to handle and control. You think about this. When these floods and all come, y'all know it'd be trees still be sitting out there. And those trees will still come back and they'll still bear their fruit. He don't pick them up and take them somewhere. He don't wrap them up and put a fence around. He just set them where they endure the storm. He don't go and get all that stuff and pick it up. Those that can't make it, oh well. You got a tree that can't make it. You cut them up and take them. But you know where it's a tree? You know what they say? Man, I'm still holding on. And I'm just like one of them odds. I'm still holding on. A lot of people, when they're stuck up, but guess what? It's going to show what's going to stand. It houses that fall. Because of how they were constructed years ago for Florida. Florida changed their whole dynamics of how you build when Andrew came through. When Hurricane Andrew came through, they saw it was the most piss poor construction they had ever been done. Those guys didn't put, they used staples. They were stapling the wall. They didn't use nails, they just stapled them. So when that thing came through, it just destroyed. They was, oh, everybody, Andrew, they showed you that neighborhood right next to it, untouched. Because they started to look at it was the poor construction. See, when everything got tested, it was needful to say, how much loss did we suffer? And when you found a neighborhood next to it, you, and you saw it almost virtually untouched, right next to it, and you're like, there's no way. It's the construction. This is what you need to ask yourself. Why you keep falling? It's because how you construct it. So you got to change your whole bill. That's the whole end. For us, I'm telling y'all, well, we got to get to now. Our mindset has to be, listen, if I 
have to live outside. My mindset has to be that I can adjust for the sake of my salvation. We put it, let me tell you something. Say salvation. When it's the most important thing for you, then other situations aren't as fearful as they seem. It's when you're trying to encompass salvation, but I'm scared of where they're going to put me out with my kids. I'm trying to encompass salvation. I don't know how they're going to work out my job. I'm doing my job. This is how I pay all my bills. I'm, it's going gonna, it's gonna to play a part because the scare, it ain't, it's not going to weigh out right. Because these other mitigating factors are really pressing and weighing. So I can only commit so much of myself to salvation because I still had this fear of. This is the thing. I don't want the embarrassment. I don't want the laughter. I don't want the looks. I don't want the snickling. I don't want people hissing behind my back. You know what I'm saying? So that I'll use for my reason and my rationale that I really can't give myself holy to this. Because this fear here has me so to where... This will make me less of a man. So Adam, what was he called? What was Adam stand for? Man. man. Yeah, mankind, man. So when we go mankind, that's a like, basically, a like. So we look at that and say, so he lived outside. Less man or more man? I think he still provided. I mean, none of us want to live outside. There ain't nothing I want to do. But let's just be practical. Is that the worst thing that can happen to me? A lot of time, let me tell you something. We'll put, because if people zip, you, you know how to start work with you. Those people who get out there, don't you know anybody start to adjust to that weather? Their body not as sensitive to the cold as ours are, because this is what, or the heat. Because now, your body realize, this is like people who went to Iraq. You first went to Iraq, what it felt like? What you like? Man, it's all right right here. Too hot. It stayed, did it feel like that the whole time? Because you know your body adjusted, though. It's still hot. You know, as you start to adjust, too. And that's what we do. He just show you, you can adjust to anything. Yeah, but you know, except for we don't adjust to him. We'll make adjustment for other people. You spend a night, and I make an adjustment. You know what I'm saying? You can have a pillow. I, instead, I sleep too. You can have, I'll adjust. What have I got to do? He said he let you show us. He shows us how we make provision for other things. He said, but when I come, how you don't have no room? Because we're so preoccupied, so embottled in so many things. He look at it, you really don't have room. Because he come in, you know what he want to do? He said, I want to fill the house. But when you got something, you don't want to move because you don't had it for you don't know how long. And think about it. How, how, how would y'all be? What, how many of y'all would let me come to your house? How many of y'all let me come? So, so I walk in your house. I just start like, you might have a, I don't know what you might have right there in front. Anybody got a thing right in the vestibule? What you got right there? A who? I hate mirrors. I hate them with all my heart. I'm taking that mirror straight down I come. Do you like that mirror? So, is that going to be a problem? And, and he's, I, I like He's right. Because I'm just coming. And he's right. Anybody else? What you got in the front? Anybody got anything? When you first, when I first walk in, what you got? What you got? A who? A fake plant. I hate plants. Fake ones. I hate them more than I hate real ones. I can't stand them. So that's definitely, I'm throwing that in the trash. Do you like that plant? Is that going to be a problem? She said, it's going to be a problem. Anybody else? What you got? A who? A, a small gla glass table. With glass? I definitely hate that. That's going to trash. I probably break that as soon as I walk in because I really hate that. That glass, that's, that's gone. As soon as I walk in, all that's gone. Do you like that table? I hate it. That going to be a problem? Yeah. What you got, Justin? A nice area rug. A nice area rug on the wall. <laughs> the man's saying I got a nice on the wall. This not wall, this floor. All right, first walk and run. So I, I don't, I hate area rug. So I take the area rug and throw it away. They're going to be a problem. <laughs> there must be something his wife, like he been trying to get rid of. He had no problem. But typically, you know what I'm saying? You think these are one little items. But you think as I'm going through your house, I'm taking out everything you like. How many of y'all got stuff in your house you like? I hate all that. All that. I hate all that. And it's going to put you out of You'll be thinking, hold on for a minute. How you just, how you just walk in here and do that? That's what you would do. Because those things we like are things we're going to value. Those things we value, we want untouched. 
and move. We want them where they are. But in order to get you where you got to get and where you need to be, I'm going to need to move them. That's the only way to find out where you at. That's the only way. Man, let me tell you something. Money was a major thing that I drove um, to do. Um, matter of fact, selling drugs, that's what I did. I was like, I didn't want to be broke. I just I don't want to do it. I ain't like it. I ain't going to do it. I, like, I don't want to do it. I'm going to be hand in mouth to them. But I, just, I, like, I, I sell drugs. I just want to do it. That was something I want to do. Because I looked at I wanted a certain respect. I want to do a certain thing. I want to be a certain place. I want to have a certain thing. I want to have a certain life. And then you get it. You realize it really ain't what you think. You create a life that you realize now is the worst life you could have ever created for yourself. Because it don't really have no peace. Everything is just, it's just fictional. It looks like it is. It's, really, it's fictional. Because you know what your real life really going to look like. And it's just a matter of time before it wound up catching it and wind up taking everything from you that you feel like you worked for and you built up. It's so timid. The money go like that. You, nobody, ask one of them, tell, say, tell me where the money went. Right. They can't tell you. You just move stuff, just move so many parts. It, it, and you just study moving and going. You're not keeping up. You're just going and you're just living and doing stuff. And you got your life and hell risking it for nothing. Something you can't even find, you can't even keep. Everyone get caught so dumb they get everything taken. Not one of them got a brain. I was wondering, you don't have a real brain. You feel like you have a brain. If you had a brain, you'd be doing something constructive. But you're looking for a way out, and people typically do, okay? I don't want to create because we all looking for some way to get by, to get to a certain place where we can get a certain comfort, where we can say, I just don't want to have to worry about nothing. Anybody, anybody thought about that? That's why I want, anybody, anybody thought like that? How many of y'all say, I just want to live, won't have to worry about nothing? Yeah, that's more, that's called over your means. Yeah, that's how, that's a cute way of saying when love over your means. Let me ask you, who, who already had? I'm going to ask y'all, let uh, be honest, then, how much money it take for you where you don't have to worry about nothing? Just, you know, live with you, you don't have to worry about nothing. About 150. How, who else? Is that a one time or that's a year or that a year? One man need $150,000 a year. <laughs> so he don't have to worry about nothing. Now let me ask you a question. Are you living right now? Are you sure you're not dead? You got a hundred, you got 150,000 now. And this is what he said. I'm using him for example. Guess why he need that? So he can live. And he don't have to worry about it. Y'all, you know what's cat, don't get me wrong. I know what he's saying, because we do. You want that cup, but he's already living. That's, that you are us. Cause y'all don't want to know my number. <laughs> you don't want to know my number. I'm talking about, and listen, that's just so I can just live. Those are, let me tell you, that's why I said those words are just easy way of saying, I need a whole bunch. Cause when you get it, you're going to say, hold on. This is new. I got to pay tithes. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know the first thing. Now you got to figure. I just, then now, hold on. I got to come back now. Come back. Right. Then when I get that now. I still gotta pay tithe. Now you ain't gonna. Now I ain't gonna. This the problem now. I ain't gonna just need the tithe money. Come and think about it. I'm gonna be having the tithe later on too, though. I don't want to be no one time tithe. So now the number. Even like, hold on for a minute. We started one fifty. Now you saying tithe. So all I had to do was give you fifteen, give you ten more percent on that. But then we want to pay tithes. Other stuff on pay. I ain't really gonna be paying like that. But I just need to get that money number up. So before you know it, you create. I need so much when you don't really look at it. We living. I know we can say, I don't like living like this. Let me tell you the key to living where we live. The key to living where you at, it keeps where you keep a relationship. Let me tell you what happened. When you get that false security, just using what he had. I know other people had. Now, what were some of the other numbers? Somebody give them to me. What's your number? Jessica? 85,000 a year. What you saying, girl? Tax free. She said, man, that's what I'm saying. You don't, you don't put that in there, you're done now. She said, now when the taxes come, we all know we're going to cut the monkey food. Well, he said, you didn't mention taxes. Now she did say, taxes. Okay, who else we have? What you got, Chris? Um, uh, pay period? No, one time. One time, 150 million. You got to pay tithes. Let me, hello, Chris. 150 million. I told him, man, tithe. He done said, oh, hold on, I ain't think about it. Can you still make it after you pay tithes? They're going to be tight. Let me ask a question. Do you make 150 million now? Do you make 100 million? Do you make 10 million? Do you make a million? He's working on it. Do you make 500,000? 
So, and what he's saying, I know some human, but in the same, I'm, I'm with him on what we're saying. But you see, you start coming out, look at where you look at how long the gap is. Let me tell you what happened with that. You know, if he had $150 million, he wouldn't be him. Cause let me say, you, yo, let me tell you something. When you get things, things have to be managed. People don't realize why things, like, it's like, I remember I was talking about I want a dog. I want that dog to die. As soon as I had to realize, I, did, I, I was like, man, this dog need to go back. I, I, I didn't want nothing. I'm going to, he told me, he said, all right, you got to feed anyone. I'm four years old. I'm stupid. You don't talk no for, I like feed. This a one, I'm like, this is a one time deal, right? I'm not, not all the time. You know what I'm saying? That dog lived way long. He probably lived. But anyway, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't care for dog for that because they live, some of the ones you don't want, they live too long. Love them, they die quick. So anyway, <laughs> It just drained. It took so much. I realized I wasn't trying to commit like that. I really was not trying to commit. I thought this thing would like, you know, like, like do some dog stuff and start away, dump thing out and go get in that. I'm like, hold on for a minute. This thing got to be trained? This stuff I ain't really on TV. Lassie, Lassie messed up a lot of folk. Lassie go to new family and know and not to go ball, get help, and come back. Well, hur, hur. you said a little, another little white kid trout. And I need to call the police and go with you right now. You like, I need that dog. When y'all see the blood bunny had to go out there and feed Lassie. Lassie went to the store, got her own food, come home. That's the dog I want. But unfortunately, when I had it needed too much care. So now you start looking at when you commit to things, how much does it actually take in order to keep it? Just like natural possession. How many of y'all like a new house? Want a new house? Bigger house. Good, good. And that's gonna be what? What? Less furnishing? More furniture. So now we get more furniture, that's going to be more of an expense. And that's going to be furniture that's going to be equivalent or that's going to be probably get rid of everything. I need to, since it's new, I need to go all the way new. Like, because now we start, now we Bible. Old things have, <laughs> all things are, that's in the Bible. I read that. So you see, now we start looking at now things, all things become new, but we don't look at us becoming new. So now you look at now because we got, remember nature. The whole purpose of showing him nature, how nature illustrate how nature works, was so now I can start to show you when I allow nature to dissipate, when I take all this fall away, now all things become new. So now you got to look at all these things become things that become from me. See, before when we were in the flesh, we worked the will of the flesh. We rationalized everything according to the flesh. Now we're trying to learn how to encompass everything and have a mental intellect that's equivalent to a state where it's more Elohim like. Y'all got it. These are things like they put the bracelet. What would Jesus do? These are things we had to consider now because we got to look at your estate and because we're taking on a different nature. So now we got to start looking at what would he do in this estate? If he was in my place today in the situation, right, what would be the moment? And not when you use that, you try to look at what decision should be made that still keeps me in a relationship. Can we, can we look at what a relationship is? I'm sorry I ain't using a whole lot of book today. Y'all getting this down? I really, I really want to, I, I can't stress, I really want to get this right. Because we, 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 we done killed a lot of time. And if we, don't, if we die and you don't get this right, it's, everything we did is in vain. Please, y'all, I'm not trying to sell y'all no lie. I ain't, I'm not up here just trying to talk, hammer no book at nobody. I am really trying to talk to everybody where it is as plain as possible. You really get this. Because if you die and you don't get it, Shame on you. You listen, everything you did was in vain. Who gave up everything to come here to lose? Who does that? Who does that? You came because you were looking at, listen, I don't want to lose. I want to get this right. I don't want to die. I don't want to burn. I don't want to suffer. And now you get here and everything you said, it, it become a lie. Because you're not staying um, studious about making sure you obtain the Ruach HaKadah. That's the only reason. That's the only they got. So I only came here for one thing, right? No sister, no brother. No, no man, you can put it out of your mouth, but let's look at your actions. Let's look at what, what, what are you really looking at? You can get somebody, I, I feel good. So did James Brown, he did. I don't want you to feel good for no temporary time. Listen. When things aren't going my way, I still feel good about my relationship with him. You got what I'm saying? I don't have, when I lost that, I ain't, I ain't looking at, oh, my, oh I'm going to burn this shit. Man, that, I mean, 
when he give me, and I may, I don't question him on that, holler, this mean I ain't going to be saved. This, you know, it's, and it, it like, it's almost an insult. Why you don't question me what's up when you wake up in the morning? Why you don't question me and say, oh, you ain't going to be saved if you woke up this morning? When you can walk, oh, I'm a burning shio. What I'm doing, walking. When things are working, you're good. And sometimes you have to let things happen so you can learn to appreciate. I'm learning how to appreciate things. And sometimes he moves things that you show, you really didn't appreciate. And it don't have to be Qatar because he removes something. It because you need, listen, I don't need nobody to define my relationship with me. It's nobody I need to call. It's nobody I need to talk to. It's no video I need to go watch to define for me my relationship with him, to make sure I have a relationship with him. This is something I work to on a constant. So these are things that I'm telling you I've done and how I evolved to look at. I can look and see where it takes time. It's not something that happened overnight. Okay, you got to just stop trusting everything and trust him. No, don't do that. You're going to make a mess. You got to understand the concepts. You got to understand it makes sense for him to do everything he does to allow you to see things in its entirety and people and watch all the different relationships and watch the different languages. And you know what you find with everybody? We all the same. We all the same. Don't, don't let the color fool you. We all the same. Man just got himself in the way. And he can't look past. Because you typically, we typically operate on just what we do. Your five senses. What you can smell, what you can touch, and what you can see, and what you can taste, and what you can hear. And sometimes those things can deceive you. Because it all depends on your heart. It all depends on your heart saying your intent when you do stuff. It all depends on it. Because if your heart ain't sitting in the right place, your inner working part and, and concerned about your relationship, then you'll do anything. There's no restrictions for you. But because now I have to look at I got to weigh every decision. I got to weigh it and attach to my soul. That make a difference for me. Look at this relationship. How about that? Y'all already saw it, so I'm learning with y'all, huh? The way in which two or more concepts, objects, or people are or the state of being relationship. That's us. That's us. Y'all hear that? That's us. Let's look at something right quick. 15th chapter book of Romans. I'm trying to get here and get y'all finished. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Yeah, we know that. Because y'all know what I want. This, this move hard, we're going to make some changes. You're who are winning high C fit. Let's just go with this one. We took a few days break. I just want everybody to relax and just take it easy. Because I know when we get back in here, it's time to go to work. It's time to dig. I want you to relax and realize he, he, he ain't intending for us to just beat ourselves up, just beat you, the book beat you, and see how much you can stress yourself out. We all got enough stress that we're dealing with. I want you to understand, Elohim does care. Yeah, it'll, it'll seem like it. I've been there. I've been there. I know. It, it'll seem like he don't care. It, it just seem like, man, some ought to work out for you. Goodness. Well, some work out. There's some. He ain't asking for everything. Just one time, some work out. But then we don't consider it. He works out a lot more than that one time we think. It's just you don't consider it. Had you woke up that morning, you had to go down to that hospital, and they had to roll back that sheet and let you identify when you're close to family member in your home, you just saw how he'd been working it out. If that had been you under that sheet, you'll see how he'd been working it out. It's just sometimes we look at things because of material, and that's what we want to look at, material. That's how we define people. People that are great, whether you the broke, nobody, folk, no, no, rich, <laughs> famous. They do stuff. They recognize. So we basically look at putting ourselves on that type of plateau. We want to be rich. We want to be recognized. We want to be respected. We want to be loved. Who don't want to be loved? Somebody tell them to be loved, give them a hug. Quit lying. You know, good way you. That's crazy. That's crazy. You don't bought into a you don't bought into a bad ideology. Everybody want love. Who don't want care? Human contact is important. We talk, why y'all think we want to, like, let me borrow for a second, William. Where you, where, 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 what's up, what's up, man? Doing? Yeah, human contact. Human, we deal with human contact. You'll watch, all right, now you'll watch, they'll walk, they'll rub each other. They'll rub, and they'll lay on each other, because you desire the contact of a human being. Don't, don't get paid, I'm making no food, you're a human. You ain't no doing tree. You're a human. Isn't that right? You're a human. Human contact is important for us. Conversation is important for us. It keeps us rational. You leave a person to himself, listen to his ideals. He said, it's just plain stupid. Because they've been bouncing them off their cell. But I got some good ideas. You know, you're like, who you, who you were talking to? Oh, nobody. Did. You said, I know. I said, couldn't have I been talking to you? That's stupid. You were talking to somebody else and said, they said, what you say? Man, that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? You need to bounce opinions off. 
to make sure they're logical or they're practical. Just like salvation. Salvation is practical, but it has to be given in a way where a person says, it's not practical the way you heard it. It's not practical. You're going to just fly away. They're practical. When you fly, when you flown before? Except at the airport. When you flown before? So it says, don't you, don't you want to fly away? Don't you want to fly away? You think, yeah, they're like, nigga, where you done flown? What if you ain't been on an airplane? Let alone talking about flying away to meet somebody in the air. So people tell you stuff that's quick and it, and it'll hit you, it energize you, and spark you to put money in basket, but it's not practical when you really sat down and realize after the gas, after the juice is out of it. I want to talk to you without juice in it. Well, we can talk practical enough, easy enough, where it can be understood, and you can do this. Okay, relationship. So we saw what relationship, let me see what relationship again. Before we go down, there's 15 and 1, you can know. But so the way in which two or more concepts, objects, or persons are connected or the state of being connected. 15 and 1. They call it John. So we call it St. John. Listen. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. They ain't got it. Here. Tomorrow, I ain't smoking, I'm gonna get a check. It's 15 and 1, listen. I am the Amat vine. You understand? I am the Amat vine. And I be. Hold on a second, vine. What were you for? That? Right here, the, the, the Giffen. Let's see what it is. How to find. Well, the hot is for the. <clears throat> Skip fun. Well, they put an E, it's probably an A, but they're saying they make a probably E sound. Well, they're doing the G and they're probably the, uh, the Nakud, the saying the E sound. Let's see what it is. Then we'll look up what a vine is. You need some water, ain't Do you need some? Uh, still got to check. You can thank Austin for that. I know what a vine is. I'm gonna see how they're using it. And what, and what, what's? Because this, this is what we have to look at, okay? For me, and yeah, we're walking through this together because I want us to get it, okay? He just told them that I am the true vine. A couple of things I want to look at based off that statement. I would definitely want to know what was their, what was their idea of what was his statement? Because somebody say something like, "I say, hey man, you're a faggot." What you thinking? He's saying I'm a gentleman. I'm a. <laughs> you thinking that joke just said I'm gay? I'm thinking in my mind, I'm going to knock him out. But why did he say? See what I'm saying? These are What's going to come to your mind? I'm going to knock your teeth out of your mouth. But why did he say I was a faggot? And that's pretty much how we're going to do it. So let's look at his statement and let's examine it for what he said. Got it? That makes sense? Yes, sir. Yeah. Geefen is how you pronounce it. So this is uh, Seagull. Seagull, the three dots. They're saying that this is the this is the um the gun. No, I'm sorry, not the gun. This is the gamal. The gamal here is a foot. So typically using it walking. So what they did, they put the dot in the middle. Naku in the in our writings, I told you what Naku actually means. It means breadcrumbs. It means crumbs. That's why you see these right here, these marks. These are crumbs. <clears throat> they use these crumbs to let you kind of identify how they came up with the enunciation. We're using the Naku, the vowel point. So what they said when you put the dot here in the um, in the gamal, they're saying just use the G sound, the the g the, the, the g sound of gamal. And here, when you pronunciate it, it's not gonna be like the <coughs> G A sound, it's gonna be like a G E sound. This what this was Seagal. So when Seagal come over here, this is the pa, which is the mouth, the opening of the mouth. The paw. So when you use the paw, they're saying here again, see gold. So it's making an E sound when you do this, when you actually put this in here. Y'all got it? So then this is the phonics of how they're saying you pronounce it. Giffon. A vine is, tw is 20, especially 20, or 20, 20, especially the great. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh, to bend. Okay, that's what he's saying. It's an unused root meaning to bend. It's basically what they're saying, bind or treat. It's what they use, or the two words they typically use when they, render, when they usually render 
vine and tree, it can actually go over here to bend. Okay. Let's go look at what it said in English. What is a vine? Please. Relationship will be important too to the climbing or, or trailing woody streamed steamed uh, steamed stem. I'm sorry, steamed plant of the grape family. Okay. You said vines over there. Well, you can steam it too, so nobody ain't there putting them on. <laughs> How y'all think they made wine? Still say. <clears throat> and they ain't want to put the other A up there. That's on them. I don't have nothing to do with these people. That's them. They want to misspell it. I don't know what school they went to. So let's go back to what we got. Okay. I am the true vine. What's that? A twining mm -hmm. of my arbor is the vine dresser. So let's see what a vine dresser is. How the person is going to come along and pick them. What's that? We forgot an S. A vine dresser, a person who prunes, mm. trains, <clears throat> and cultivates vines. That makes sense, don't it? Yes, sir. That's what he said his father does. I mean, how many of y'all heard it before he said my husband, is, my father is the well, he said he don't even say vine dresser. He just said my father's the husband. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I mean, we know that somebody plant. But here he's telling us about the vine dresser it was a little different. He's the vine dresser or the pruner of. All right, let's go back. I'm sorry, the person who prunes, trains, and cultivates vines. Let's see what he tells us. So his father's the vine dresser. He shall remove every branch in me that does not produce pari. Yeah. For whatever produces pari, he shall purify. To make its pari abundant. I think on that one they would say prune. Because basically when you look at purify would make sense. Because purify is just when you're getting rid of uh, any other additives or any other, you know, any other outside, what did you say? Um, but basically kind of taking away any imperfections or something. So when you look at divine dressing, when he's pruning, he's cutting away what? Dead limb, dead leaves. Cause he look like when you get them dead leaves on, eventually they start to trickle down that right. branch. So you start to cut it away. So when he look at that, for him, he looked at that's a form of purifying. Right. Cause you're getting rid of other contaminants that could lead unto an effect. So now what we find out, because it does not fit in the relationship, See, what he's trying to get is just like a, like the husband and a farmer does. He's trying to get the pari, the fruit. So in order for him to get the pari, the fruit, he has to remove certain things. My dad was real good with plant. I, I remember he had one in a cup. My cousin won it out of fast. She brought it home in the cup. My dad grabbed that thing, went all the way around the house, and grew up out of another plant. He was outside. He could break it off, stick it anywhere, and make it grow. He had that, he was a type of person, but he would spend a lot of time going on different leaves and it started getting brown. He would take and he would cut them brown pieces off that leaf, off a leaf, off of a, I like when it get on the leaf, he would just start breaking them off. He wouldn't let them because eventually it would, once it started getting brown, it'll just overtake the whole little leaf. Then he know it's going to go to the vine, so he would start breaking things off. He constantly kept cultivating it so it grew. And it went around the wall. It went around the whole wall in the house. People, he would break them out. He would give people, he would break it off, get it, put it outside. Just, he, he could do that. But he constantly made sure he maintained it. So what we're looking at for him, so in order for him to get this pari that he desired, it's constant maintaining. Just like coming here three times a week. Because in order to get that kind of pari, it's got to be maintained. So when we come in here, what we're looking at is purifying. That purifying going to go with doing what? We're going to get rid of some things like I use, like going into your house, getting that mural that Ryan said he really liked, uh, getting that plant that she said she really liked, getting that, that coffee table that uh, Tamika said she really liked, because those are things just using in the instant. They like them. So if something happened to them, that's going to be an offense to them. That offense can come down. They can play a part on their salvation. So looking at it from his perspective, it's going to make sense to get rid of it because this is going to be a distraction. Somebody come over there, little kid, and walk in for a minute and then knocked it off. They're going to feel a certain type of way, and they can play on their salvation. Well, you know what? Kayla knew before he brought them kids, he knew I, he knew I had that mirror up now. I knew him. I, I had been watching Kayla. I've been watching. And some, when some said in my spirit, I don't be wrong. And when that mirror got broke, that really more or less, it, 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 it answered all my suspicions. <laughs> to tell me he had been eyeing that mirror. 
Now I done went somewhere else, I'm holding some, and I'm going somewhere totally off, off the reservation, and ain't nowhere in the plan of salvation. And now that thing that came in, I'm sitting out here, I'm going to burn later on, and that thing could have just been out of my life. It could have prevented that for me. So now you got to ask yourself, a lot of things we got, where did it put you at with people in relationships when it come down to him? Because that's what they're all looking at. Now, if it ain't producing no fruit, what do you do with that? He said, I got to get rid of it. Because of relationship, it's not working for me. Why? He's looking at this. Why am I going to keep it? It ain't working. Okay, now that's yourself. So, what, so since you understand, what, what's the motivation of keeping you? The man just told you about purifying and removing. Where are you at on this? Are you in purification state? Or are you in the state of you about to be removed? Because, let me, let's, come on now, I want you to be honest with yourself now. Y'all can help me, can y'all, y'all can read better than me now. Ra, Ra Smith, he, he. shall, shall. Which is rather, just like whatever is written before. So, to me, I'm going to come over and bust that table and get it out. It's going to make you better. I'm gonna get that plant, throw it in the trash. Your mirror. No, this is just hypothetical. Please don't go through that to my preacher. I'm purified. I said, oh, goodness. <laughs> Y'all went, whoop, whoop. We got to clean this up. Y'all better go back in that trash and get that stuff. No. But, but where I'm trying to go to, and I just use those things, I appreciate them, in which we all have things. Not, uh, and people might think, no, we all got things that can't be touched, we don't want to bother, and these are red lines. You know what I'm saying? These are, these are lines in the sand for, and he know what he needs to do, he don't need you to get rid of that line. Because <clears throat> it's all about making sure you can still stay compliant while you got stuff. See, a lot of us are compliant because they ain't got nothing, I'm trying to get something. Well, so when you get something, let's see how you operate. Like we said, you know what? I could do a whole lot better if I had a bigger house. If you can't do better in that house, what is a bigger house going to do? But how many times we done bought in that? If I had a new car, I'd treat that one better. How you treat the one you got? So you're trying to sell the wrong person. I tell you, I, I hear it all the time. Those people say, if I had a new, how you doing the one you got? Well, that one really, that one raggedy. That one, he's, I, he's looking, I still gave it to you. If you ain't keeping that one, I mean, what do you, what do you want from me? Because now your whole life going to be based on as long as I give you new stuff. When I give it to you, you ain't you responsible to do something? Just like when he gave the man a talent. What do you want the man to do? He want the man to wait on him so he can, then, he, he said, you, if you want more, then you're going to take what I give you. And you have to work that to get that. Just mm-hmm. like he showed you what he did. Because this, this is the nature of him. He said, I came into nothing and look what I worked it into. How are you going to get all this stuff he's going to give you? I'm going to give you something. I need you to work it into something. But we don't want to do that. But you want the reward of, you want the benefits of, but you don't want none of the behavior of. He said, it's a behavior. He has a behavior. And the reason why he's been so um, successful in what he's done, because he's managed to hold himself to a certain rule of standards. <sighs> Can I, I'm, you, want, you want some money? I'm giving you $10 million. I just told a flat lie. I'm glad I'm like Allah. He know I'm telling a lie. That man said, you're not like me. He said, I'd have never done that. He said, I hold a rule of standard. He said, man, I can't lie. If I tell him he's going to give $10 million, that's what you're getting. Mm-hmm. Why do you think he told you to let your yay be yay, your nay be nay? Mm-hmm. Well, that's amazing. Because he tell how many lies. He told you, I don't be lying. So everything he told you to do is because he said, that's my nature. And you ain't going to believe what they put us at. They put us in a relationship. Where two or three, two or three things connect, two or more things connect. That's how we. That's how we click. Cause he said, "I don't be lying. If I say I'm gonna do something, that's what he said too. To so say and do. Well, he said, let that be all over, and it's supposed to be coming soon. You ain't gonna believe it. He said, when you say something, do it. Y'all got it. Cause this creates the relationship. It didn't make sense to any y'all. We say. And underfulfilled. <clears throat> Hold on for a minute. You you tripping. You took that for you thought for real? 
like, wow, that's tight. He said, because now we, now we got to look at the point. He said, I got to remove you because you're not producing anything with this. See, this, I, I really want to understand who you're trying to be like and why you're missing the mark. Because this man said, everything he said I'm going to do, that's what I do. I hold myself to a rule of standards. I won't break these standards. I'm not going back for these standards. And I tell a man or woman, in order to be like me, you're going to have to hold to these rules and standards. And everything he gives you to are practical. You don't want to lie. Don't say something you ain't going to do. I probably tell a lie. What, so what is right? Why you like saying stuff you ain't going to do? You can't do it. Don't do it. I said, no. I felt bad. At least lied to me. <laughs> well, that's what you wanted, but I ain't going to be the one to do it to you. He said, he said he don't, that's not what he said he does. <clears throat> so in order for me to be like him and to have the manifestation, the showing of him, then you know, people say, you know what? He all that, man, you can't tell lies. You can't drink. can't go out and hold my, Man, what can you do? I can do a whole lot of things. I just can't do that. Like all of him. So he can't do nothing because he can't lie, drink, and steal. But he created a whole world. Right. Like, man, we ain't going to be able to do nothing. So how all this got him? That's right. Because you try to minimize his way and maximize the wrong way. He's at, at maximum capacity. Look at this man. This man, this man has done leaps and bounds over on things. And there's more you can do once you start realizing you're only holding to those rules based upon and the fact of this entails your salvation. Newark. What, what was that thing here to build? The top of the art. Well, the top is going to be the box that they put in. Top of art. The art is what it is. So that art, what, what was that for? That art. That was for the saving of his soul. He was going to die. He was going to die. That, that, that would have been predicated on. Pastor, I ain't never built one before. You're going to die. I know how to build one. Right. It just came to me. I can build it. I can build it. He had to build it. It was for the saving of his soul. Don't you know what happens to us and what you don't realize? See, this is the problem with me, you, them. You don't consider everything he told you to do. This is for your soul. I'm going to kill you. Y'all need to know whenever he tell you something, I'm going to kill you. That's the When he told you, if I hypothesize, I said, Bruce, um, uh, go and get me some water. And he might thought, I'm going to go get around. I want you to go get out of fact, I'm going to kill you if you don't get it. So you know how he's going to move. It's early. John, I'm going to start. Hey, let's talk about it. You remember when we went to the round, we asked you about something. When he think about it, I'm going to kill him. John better shut the guy that wait for you to knock him on that ground. And you know how we do. Let's be honest. We're going to have a conversation with John. Oh, goodness. Man, I was supposed to be doing what preaching. It's dangerous with him. It's dangerous that you forgot to do something he told you to do. Mm -hmm. I want us to understand where we at. Every time he tell you to do something, this is how I need to put it. He's going to kill you. We didn't know he told Musha he was going to kill him until he came down to kill him. And you know what he did? He got distracted. And he said, I was coming to kill you. Everything he told him, it was predicated on killing him. You know why we don't do what we do? Think about it. What's going to happen? You ain't never died before. Because you didn't have to understand it. So now you're moving to the understand. So now the penalty gets a little more severe for you. See, we dealt with all of him that dealt with us in our ignorance. What's the purpose of coming teaching us? So you understand the violation. Isn't it like sometimes a person go to court? You know, they'll ask you, you know, do you understand these charges? Have they been, have they been, why do you think they have to tell you that? What if I got to see where your comprehension skill at? To let you know you have a right. You, you don't probably know this. You don't have to say nothing. You got a right to have somebody represent you. And it ain't based off your money because if you can't afford it, one will be appointed for you. How do you think we got Yahushua? We couldn't afford it. Man, that was a, man, that's a murder case. We couldn't afford that mess. <laughs> what you doing? That man had to point somebody. And they ask you, do you understand these rights as I've explained them to you? Because you're like, oh, no, it's, we got to get somebody in turn. We got to get somebody to come and make sure that person understands. That's why I come in at. He said, make sure they understand the charges they face them. He said, these people going to court. Don't y'all know sometimes judges will hold cases out because people too incompetent to stand. Right. You ain't going to believe why that man waiting to come back home. Man, we're too stupid. Mm. Mm. We're incompetent. The case go, man, it's a, man, it'll be a kangaroo court. Right, right. Man, you got a room full of stupid folks. He'll start doing, duh, duh, what? They'll be like, they like, you finna send these people? These people don't have a comprehension of what's going on. He says, so I gotta make sure they're taught now. Right. I make sure they're taught. So now you got no excuses. You can't escape it. 
So that's why I said, how can we escape? If we neglect what? Some great salvation. Y'all said salvation? What made y'all put it? What what made y'all put great on it? Undeserved. At that point, it became an adjective, isn't it right? You know, now you increase the value. You know, it ain't just a salvation. You said a great set. What made you say great? Huh? We don't deserve it? Because we look at, the magnitude, look at the magnitude of how large it is, the amount based off of what we've done, how much it overshadows what we've done. He said, so you recognize that because you said we're great. I didn't hear nobody say we neglect salvation. I heard y'all say great. What made y'all say great? Huh? It pressure? He says pressure. Christmas? Oh, precious. Okay. Exactly. So you understand it. So why would you treat it like that? Like he told you, man, he said, who, he, who y'all, how many of y'all grew up with North, seeing pigs or had pigs? Went seen or had them? Who had them? Y'all used to go put pearls on them. He said, I wouldn't do that either. He said, I would never decorate these people. He said, I wouldn't do it. He said, you know what he said they would do if you gave it to him? Dang. He said, I'll run it through the mud. <clears throat> How many of y'all disagree with that? How many of y'all know some pig that will put that pearl necklace on there and go sit down somewhere? No, sir. You ain't going to believe it. He said, I would never give these people the royal hakadash. Mm. I'm talking about not just him. Because uh, you're looking at because you don't understand the value of it. Mm. What, what you, what you, now what you going to do with that pig when you catch that pig running around? Roll around that mud jail with that, with that pearl necklace. Gonna kill him. Do what? He, for, you say you'll kill it. Well, he said, I agree. You'll kill it out of anger. But then if you look at it, you have to fault yourself. See, now Jeff ain't smarter than Yahuwah. And I ain't either. You're exactly right. He had to fault himself. Hey, look at that. I, put, I gave that to a pig. What was I expecting a pig to do? You want to know why you obtained it yet? What's your state? What's your estate? How many of y'all get some cool dust, some spare, and give it to a dog? Would you? Anybody here know about dogs? What that dog will do with you get some of this cool dust and you get it to a dog? What the dog will do with it? That dog gonna lock down right there, so I guarantee anybody gonna touch it. What are they gonna do? And who are you gonna blame? The dog. So, so you see why? You see why he ain't gonna give it to you and then come back and do that? He said, I gotta fault myself, not unless I teach him. That's just like a dog. When you whip a dog and you the bathroom or how, it's because I train you to go outside or to hold it. Can't whoop them when you know they, you, they don't know any better. You can whoop them, but how much understanding gonna get to it? They're gonna associate the whooping with what they did. No, they're gonna associate you can't home, you were pissed, you just start beating them. Like you do when Allahim punishes you. I ain't even do nothing. I don't even be doing nothing. See the relationship? So when he told you about the dogs and the pig, he was telling us about us. Mm. Please, I want it now. He said, I wouldn't give it to a pig. I wouldn't catch it before no dog either. I know what they'll do with it. So now, he said, what I do though, I will give the people that train that understand my position, that I'm a pruner, that I know how to dress. And I address different things. I know how to cultivate. So it's certain things, mean, just like in Yerim Yahoo, it told you to break up your fallow ground. <clears throat> That's your until ground. Anybody know why? Huh? That's not, the only way to do it. How you going to plant? So you're going to break it up. So think about why things come in our relationship. Relationships break up. Things happen. Why? I'm trying to break up your until ground. Those are areas untouched by us. If you tilling the ground, you ain't tilling the ground been tilled. You tilling the ground ain't been tilled. Ain't been tilled. I need to break it up in order to put something in it. So why is certain thing happen? I mean, I had a split. Me and my wife separated. We had a what we'll call it, a breakup. Maybe so he can go and he can plant. Mm. See, a lot of things happen in our life when we don't understand the course of nature, how things work. Then we don't have something to parallel our own lives against. Other than, man, I'm used to it, man. There's always some. How many got that logic? Anybody got that logic? There's always some. Versus, I need to understand the nature of Allahim, understand the purpose of Allahim. So when things happen, I know how to put things in a perspective. God saying, not being able to put them in perspective kind of leave me just open to interpretation. And you ain't gonna believe when it comes down to the writer. Just came up. Huh? 
But this just came to me. It's private. He said, I don't, I don't allow people to do private. <clears throat> it's not private. It's public. It's got to be open. Just like you do business, certain things they don't charge for because it's in the private sector. When you do public, there's a difference. He said, stop the private sector. I need you to come public. So I need to be known among unashamed. It can't just be you. When it's just to you, then how do we, what do we got to test again? Listen, the Lord gave me a word. He said, that's private, huh? Public. He wanted public. If a man spoke in, if he could speak in an unknown tongue, he told man, he said, you can do that? Yeah, he said, yeah, you can do it. Yeah. He said, do that to yourself. Private, that's right. He said, unless you can interpret. That's right. Because the other people standing by need to know. Now, how that work? You having a conversation with all of him, you and him, he said, there's some more folks around. He said, tell them what we said. They said, I don't know how to say it in English. He said, then you need to just shut up talking to me. Don't do it in front of them. Because all they're going to do is cause confusion. Because nobody knows what you're saying. See, that, that's the type of Elohim we serve. And you know what it does? It gets us where you can check something. Let me tell you, dude. I, I'm in class. Teachers say, all right, everybody, you pass your paper. Let somebody grade. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. Then I had a teacher say, you, you're going to check your own. Now, this is what you learn how to do. I just wait to do my answer then. Since I know what you're going to do, I, that way I'm going to be wrong. What's number one? Go on and write it. Get through all my right. They're all right. And then you go, if you do write, you, you can just, you got erase it, play it off, <coughs> easy erase it, and just write that right answer on now. Or you get your friend, somebody like, I do you, you do me. See that? <laughs> That's why he said, I'm going to need to check everybody. And I'm going to need to grade it. I, I, I'm sorry if I tell y'all, I really really, truly want us to get this. I don't want you to look at the Ruach HaKadosh as unobtainable. It's very obtainable. You just need to have a set of rules to understand there are things he mandates for us you got to do, regardless of how you feel, regardless of what you're thinking, regardless of other outside mitigating factor. It's to prove out. When you call salvation great, that's exactly what it is great because it excels above others. Y'all got it? It is. It's great. It, it's like super. You know what I'm saying? It excels above. And that's what we found. Like, if you were naturally drowning or in front of a car, I might push you or grab you. You might say, man, I'm grateful to you, man. Man, you saved my life. He said, yeah, but what I did greater than that. What I saved him from, it's, gonna, it's just a matter of time for it to come back again. And I won't be able to save you from that one. But this death that he saved him from, I ain't never got to fear it again. It ain't one of them things, I just got to be on the lookout for now for cars. You know what I'm saying? Because I almost got hit by one. Because it could be some fall out the sky while I'm looking for a car. It could be a heart attack. It could be a stroke. There's too many different other things that can happen. It's the fact that I realize he's delivered me from a burning death. That that supersedes any other death because everybody got to pass through that way. Death is not something nobody going to cheat. We all got to pass through it. It's just now we just got to know how to do it. When we talk about in the 27th chapter in the book of Bamar, but they call numbers, um, when Musha said, let Yahuwah, the Alahim, all Basar, settle each over the Adar so he can um, lead them out. Did you, you had to pay attention how he left. And then when you look at how he left, you want to kind of retrace his steps and go back to look at even from the beginning how he got up even to that point. What did he constantly make a mandate of doing, making sure that the will of the Father was always being met. That, listen, that, that superseded him of having ownership of a home. Who, what man don't want to have his own family, have a wife, have a family? It, this is natural. This is a man. So, especially at the dumb, that set in play, a man need a wife. Man need his own house, man need his own space, man need a car, man need a garage, now man need a screwdriver. You, you ain't got a screwdriver, you ain't even a man. Mm -hmm. Your name not gonna know they say, man, I borrow a screwdriver. I ain't got a screwdriver. They say, where your wife at? You ain't, you ain't even a man. It's that thing, you know, they tell a man need a two bar, even he don't use it. I got twos on you, I ain't gonna never use them. brand new one. But you got, if somebody come ask, I got it. You just gotta have it. They be like, I just had to have it. I, I just had to have it anyway. They say, as a man, you gotta have the two. But, but now we start looking at um, what do we have to do in order to meet the measure that he set for us. You know, because the goal, again, is to obtain salvation. 
but it's got to be something that's practical. It's got to be something that's logical and something that can be obtained. Salvation can be obtained. We just got to be willing to look at putting everything in its proper place. Okay, how many of y'all have, have homes, apartments, where you stay? How many of y'all beds are in the kitchen? How many of y'all toilets in the closet? Okay, one person, Bobby. <laughs> he said that's because he like to try to build on the spaceship while he's taking a set down. So all these things are put in a place for a reason. Well, that's the same thing when it comes down to relationships, other things. They have to be put in a certain place because the whole objective is to obtain the salvation and to know how to get in and out of, transferring out of, transferring into. Y'all got what I'm saying? Even when you transfer, there were paperwork you had to have. If you transfer, no, you couldn't just walk on that school and say, I'm over here. No, they got to take it. Your grades had to be acceptable with what they have, and they got to be able to recognize, say, I'll leave you where you at. Otherwise, someone will put you back. They said, based off your grade, what you got? Say, here, you can't be that. You got what I'm saying? Our goal is we're trying to transfer up. Y'all got it? Trying to transfer out and transfer up. That's what Yahushua showed us how to do. He transferred out and he transferred up. He went down from humble servant here and he went up to the bin of Allahim. Second high rule in Shamaim. So he transferred out of here and went up. That's our goal. To learn how to transfer out and how to go up. Y'all got it? Now, easily said than what I told you. Again, you have to look at everything that you're trying to achieve where you at in life and where you're trying to go. And in order for you to do that and become successful in what you're looking at trying to do, how does that play on you or with you in obtaining salvation? Because some things, you just got to let them go. Based on you trying to get the raw how to die. Some people say, well, I'm good. I can do it. That's what they are. No hard feelings. But a lot of time it's not practical. Because let's look at Yahushua. Okay? I'm trying to get rid of y'all. I was going to read some more of this relationship. But I'm not. I'm trying to get through. Let's just look at it. He came down him. What was the name of that girl he dated he liked, the one he was trying to talk to? That, that subdivision just that he had moved in. You remember the one again? Pum, you remember the, the um them donkeys he owned? The horses, y'all remember that? It's crazy. So he had none of these things. And let's just look at purposely why. What was his agenda? to attain salvation himself, and to be a benefit to others. In order for him to be a benefit to others, you ain't going to believe it. A wife didn't fit in that equation. Nor their kids. Nor did a house. Nor, listen, this, this, this obtains salvation. You're thinking, I got a house. I mean, how they going to play on me with salvation? Okay, let's try it again. He had no home. He said, foxes have holes. Yeah. Birds have nests. Yeah. He said, I have nowhere to lay my head at. But I got a house, my family, I got a house, and I got a rental property. Okay, let's try it again. Are we catching on yet? <clears throat> but let's just admit, this was the feat that he was given. All right? Not defeat. Y'all got nothing. This defeat. This is the what he was obligated to, he had to do. And then tell him in order for him to do it, he realized something. That ain't gonna work for me. That ain't gonna work for me. I just had to stay where I can. Cause in order for me to do what I'm trying to do and accomplish it, it ain't gonna work. Home ownership don't work. What they tell you, listen, the first end for every American, everything, what is it, y'all? Home ownership. Home ownership. That's probably why he went in America. It'll mess them up. It'll mess them up. He, he had to look at home ownership. He never he home, home, have home ownership. People got to pick him up and drive him around versus he a grown man. He need a car. You know, right? Sitting around, waiting around, well, you know, sitting on other folks' ass. Folks like, no, man, you need to get your own. Like, get off the ass, you need to get up and go. That's We're talking right. about the donkey. So all these things come, but he looked at, this is it. A lot of criticism was given him, not only for the work. Let's just look at as a man, how men look and how we do stuff. This is, this is a sorry man. How are we going to look at him? Come on, man, come on, man, you're a grown man. You ain't got nowhere to stay. But he's looking at the endeavor that I'm attempting. Doesn't, it doesn't allow for it because I'm making this my first sole obligation, the will of the Father and obtaining salvation for myself as well as others. So when this is your feet, and he didn't give us that, but how many things do we have that's really not necessary and that's pending that's keeping us from getting the raw hakadash? That's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm, I'm just think, think about it. I mean, why did he, this, this, all the way from Shaman, is it, is it really that extreme you can't have nothing? <clears throat> Yeah. 
We're talking, that's extreme. What was he trying to show her? You can have all this and you can have that. See, he ain't gonna be able to do it both. You gotta be willing. Now, some people, he allow us to control half certain things, but that's got to be in perspective too. You know, I gave it to you because it's only a help to other people. Otherwise, I take it. He said, man, whosoever have this world's goods and he don't have his IQ, he said, you shut up your bowels of compassion. <clears throat> he said, ain't no Allah. He said, ain't no, ain't no harbor Allah. He meant it. He said, can't be. He said, you can't do it. So the only way he give you stuff, this is something I would mess up. The only way he give you something, because it got to be a benefit to the rest of it. Right. That's right. You probably didn't know that either, did it? It don't make sense to give it to you. Why did he give it to you for you? It had to be to benefit others, just like your body. When you eat, you taste like your whole body benefits from that. Your whole, it's a, we're a body. So the body benefits from other things that happen, just like the body is hurt through other things that happen to it, right? Well, the same thing had to come to come to a benefit. But in order to attain this salvation, everybody to be practical, you really need to look at what you got and see if there, is it real a need. What you put your drive to, how did this play? How much is your heart in what you're doing versus toward him? It's a lot of stuff you got to give up and you got to be able to walk away from. That's a lot of stuff you got to look at. It can't be as important <laughs> as you thought it would. It can't. You ain't going to make it. Y'all want the truth, right? We ain't going to make it. There's too many things that just, man, I just don't want to hear people talking. You know what I'm saying? Who want to hear people? How many of y'all don't want to hear people's mouth? Man, I ain't got time to be hearing people. But what if you got to hear their mouth for your salvation? This is the thing. We have to become, we have to become um, out of the ordinary people. Right now, you're ordinary. You got everything they got. You do everything they do. When you get pissed off, listen, I'm going to let you have it. I can apologize and repent later. Right now, you need to get all these words. I can clean these shoes off. I need to put this in your behind. He said, so right now you're ordinary. See, now you know what happened? I'm going to call you Shamshun. Shamshun knew what his defeat was. Just like us. If he, he said, if you cut my hair, what did he say he'll do? He said, I'd be like every other man. See, people desire weakness. People desire to just willingly submit themselves. He told her. Why did he tell her? This is my downfall. This will take me out. This will, listen, this will serve my relationship. Why would I give somebody that type of power? Because as a human being, that's how we operate. We operate to put ourselves in hurt. Look at Yerushua. You ain't believe it. I got to go to Jerusalem. And I go to be delivered in the hands of sinful men. They're going to kill me the third day. He told him, but I'm a coom, though. He told them. He had a desire for them to know. Let them know, I'm going to Jerusalem. And when I do, I'm going to be delivered in the hands of men of Katain, and they're going to kill me. But I'm going to get up. He did just like Shamshun. I told you what happened. I gave you, listen, I kept, I ain't keep no secret from you. He made sure you knew it. Because it wound up working to a benefit. You know, sometimes we're like, you can't tell it. What is it? You can't tell them. Right hand, what the left hand do? Or the left hand, what the right hand do? He did it. He looked at how it benefited. Typically, you wouldn't. He looked at, listen, he told him you can do nothing against the truth. It'll be for it. I just came to the grips of realizing that. You get out of the fear of what people are going to take from you, how people can have stuff on you, and how people can hold you. Listen, if your mind and your real, your real desire is for this salvation, there is nothing that anyone can take from you. There is nothing a person can do to hurt you unless you stop working for the benefit of the will of the Father. Because everything he's going to let happen is going to work to a benefit. It might not look at it. Your confidence has to be there. That if I'm doing what I suppose, this is what I measure. I do my, ain't no just trying to measure that. Oh, the word said. <clears throat> you said in your word now. Man, I know what I said. Who you talking to? <laughs> I, 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 in your word, you know you said. He said, we're going to play the game for real. You think I know what I said? What you standing on? Because we tend to want to come back and throw back to him what his word said. That was for others to call. He gave it to us so you have something to measure again. He's definitely a man that stood this about making sure he stays with what he says. He did things to people to let you know, I don't lie. 
So if you have confidence in nobody, at least you can put confidence in him to know that if he said it, that's what he's going to do. If he allows something to happen because he's going to use that situation in some type of way where it's going to be a build up for his mouth, cool, but it's got to benefit you. If I take from John and John is doing the will of Elohim, this can only work to be a benefit to John in the future, and it's going to work to be to a downfall of mine. He said, well, baby, you had put a milestone around your neck that you took from him. So he set the whole situation for me to come still take him to where this is going to be your downfall. And this one I won't forgive. So when who should come back, who going to see him? Every who? And conjunction. And all of them. Every one of them piercing. So it worked to a benefit. I have some people that come back, I can hold, he look at, I got some people I can hold my wrath on. Those people that played a part in it, he said, I come back, they going to see me. They're going to see, they're going to pay for what they've done. So if he's going to repay these people for what they've done to them and, and the prior other people, the Kodashin, don't you think he's going to pay these people back for what he do to you? What they do to you? But our confidence hadn't been there in him. We hadn't really believed him enough to say, I'm going to let you handle this. I'm going to stop trying to fight every fight. I'm going to quit trying to war every war. At some point, you have to prove out my confidence is in you enough. I'm going to trust you for everything, for my losses and my wins. Because if it, it shouldn't have happened, I don't, I'm just telling what I just said. I just say he don't know what he's doing. It shouldn't have happened. What did I just say, Justin? If you tell, if you whip your kids for something, it's typically because they did something wrong. Some contrary, or you're angry with them because they did. So I'm angry about the situation because I feel like he shouldn't have done it. He don't know what he's doing. See, now we have to start questioning things when we look at things, how we have to be with something. Listen, I make sure I clear myself with him. I won't be clear with him on every end. I have no doubt about him. I don't care what I lose. I ain't got no doubt about him. I never had a stronger fear for him than how things have been transited. Because I, I just started realizing I really hadn't trusted him the way I should have. I really hadn't. I trusted him to a point. I trusted him up to so much, but not all the way to where you know what best. I'm, I, my confidence is just in you. Whatever you, how you see fit, because it got to work the way you want it to happen. How, is, how does anything else work? How does anything work? And we get out of that sometimes, or we get into the fear of, and that fear of makes us always keep reacting. It makes us always keep injecting ourselves. We realize, I don't, I don't need you in this one. Like when he went to get to my Mizraim, it makes sense. To me, I want all the time, why he ain't just letting them fight? Because they need to know, first of all, I'll fight for you. If I tell you, listen, don't fear, I'll fight for you. Why would you not fight? Why would you not fight? I ain't never seen him fight. When Daoud came up there, why would they just say, whatever you say? That man gave him some weapons. He said, listen, they may have been doing this a long time. You're a kid. You're an amateur at this. This man been doing it. At least take this. Now, he started to recite out about what he's done. But again, we talking about Goliath. You know what I'm talking about? We talking about limb finger, limb toe, Goliath, gigantua, ain't been defeated. Then we talking about a boy. You got to understand, I'm looking at this, and I don't see it. I don't see it. But Yahuwah showed that he could use a lad to kill a giant. Yahuwah brought them out because they were children. He kept calling them the children. You'll notice the conversation. He referred to them a lot as the children of. Y'all babies. I ain't going to let them out. I can't let no babies fight for me. Well, I come to get my son and tell my son to fight. And I came, I came to fight. And they need to know that. And they need to know what the relationship was. How you think of somebody mess with your son's guy? How you coming up? All right, look, Ken, go and fight. You coming up? I'm killing everybody. And he, he knew his daddy coming. No, my daddy coming. And my daddy coming to fight. He gonna, and he don't want me to fight. Because he going to look, this is my fight. And they, he want them to know that. When I tell you that you're my son, my man, I want you to know the relationship that we connect together. And I will fight to the end for you to make sure I deliver you out of. And they need to have that relationship with him to know when he say, don't, wait, be still, because I'm working. And they had to come to it because they had experience. A lot of us, you have experience, you just hadn't recognized it. You have unrecognizable experience. Because how you been making all this time? We talk about how many of y'all still have happened in your life and that was the end of the world? So why are we still here? Only because he showed it. 
How many of us have been in a situation and we didn't know what we were going to do? Did we got the situation? So all of a sudden, he stopped doing what? He stopped fixing the ends of the world and he stopped correcting the situation we didn't know what we were going to do. He stopped that right now, right? All he's been waiting for us to do is when we going to recognize it. When we going to recognize it, let something be here. Let people have I got to have that last word with you. I got to let you know how I feel. I just, like, I just man, got shot me. I hit the horn. That man shot me. Bro. He would cuss me. I, would look, I, look, I said, this man has no idea. I just, hey, listen, I just kept moving. I said, the energy time, it just takes too much energy and time. That's where he at. He took on something. I said, I ain't even, I got to keep moving. I'm in here arguing for Now we're going to go to gun plan so I get shot. And the sense would have been it there. Fred Rock, you're wonder. Why you roll your one down to entertain and start to fool with it? You could have kept moving. You know, when you think about this, when you sitting in prison trying to explain it to the judge, I ain't no effing punk. When you shoot me a bird, you better be ready to die. And the judge saying, home or house arrest, probation, ankle bracelet. Man, they saying, we, I, I'm telling you, they saying, I can't afford you to be back on the street. Because you know how I many people shoot birds and say stuff? You can't kill everybody on the street. You can't, I had, to, listen, I had to absorb you out of society. And people don't realize how dangerous and detriment we can be to ourselves. And you're always trying to get up from their mind. Look at how much hurt and time and loss we've cost ourselves because we just hadn't had the confidence in it. That whole conversation, then I'm going to let y'all go. It's been about us making changes. Everything Yahushua did, he couldn't do nothing less and obtain it. Nothing. Nothing could, well, if it went, nothing less. The slap, he had to have every one of them. Not one, it couldn't be one less. The whip, not one less. Not one stick of bra could be missing. Everything was to the exact. You know what? Everything that happened to you is to the exact, too. Nice. It's got to happen that way for you to obtain it. You guys say you want to be saved. I keep reiterating, I keep pushing it back. I want you all to know, I'm on my job. I'm going to do my job. Without any excuses, I will maintain the way he done told me to go. I'm not going to let up. I'm not going to tire. I'm not going to fall. I'm not going to quit. You trusted me with something I told y'all. Most of everything you got, I ain't going to be the one to let you down. You can forget it. You know when somebody lets you down, give you a pass, it ain't going to happen for me. Because I'm in the same fight. This is all about relationship. See, we all connect together. Y'all got it? Now, if you can't make it but so far and you don't do it, then he's going to cut you off. But I want you to stay connected. Everyone, I want you to stay connected. I want you to really do inventory on how many things you keep fighting, how many things you keep trying to fix, and how far you got with it. It's really coming down to an end of really fully committing and trusting everything in his hand. This is everything I got. Me, my family, my goods, everything. This is everything I got. And don't hold back nothing. And when you give it to him, Please don't tell him how to arrange it. Can you please bring it back? If you will. If you don't mind, will you, will you, will you allow me to have? He said, don't give it to me and give me the rules with it too. Give it to me and have enough confidence. I'm going to do what's best. That's the mindset I got to. He only takes from me. He's only allowed to have. It got to be from my back because I'm considering more. I'm looking more at him. So how that don't work to my salvation? But if I make it the vital, I should have. I know I should. Man, I got to start. He said, so we still ain't there. How much stuff you done started? How much stuff you done done and you still lost? Because I've been trying to get you to realize at some point you got to trust me. Sometimes you got to trust me and not people. You know how you hear that, you know, how can man hurt you and all, you know, that's man, whatever. People, that's what they want to say. Men can hurt you. People can hurt you. You know what you have to do that? You have to start realizing, though, did you hurt me because you caught me off guard or you got me because he allowed it and I was just being submissive to his will. You ain't punk and took nothing. His will just became more important than what my will was. Because my will was to hurt you and to kill you. His will overrode it. Y'all understand that? It don't mean, he, wants that, he wants that will to come up. Kill him. Kill that nigga. nigga. Let that nigga get away with that. Kill that nigga. That nigga, man, they gonna think you a punk. You ain't weak. Tell them niggas you ain't no faggot. And his will said, but what about my will? When I had to ask that, I understand your will, and that's good for in the church. 
But when you're in the street, a nigga got to do what he got to do. He said, then you hadn't learned. You hadn't fully submitted yourself. You see what I'm saying? I mean, none of y'all, we got to get there. We're going to be safe. At some point, we're going to have to start learning. I'm talking about learn to the fact that you can emulate. There's a lot of stuff you can say the kids should learn, but when you give them the test, they fail. We have to emulate it, duplicate it. Everything he's done, that's the proof in whether or not you learned it, that you actually comprehend it. And the truth of the matter, we the way of young, we have not fully comprehended. But that's my goal to make sure we get it. Listen, I ain't going to give up. I'm going to do it. This is what I want. Let me tell you something. I gave up that stuff. Hate for folk. But man, I don't even waste my time. Listen, first of all, I don't feed into things. Cause I mean, I got to let you get in my mind. I don't give people that kind of space. I just, I just stop. I can't let you get in here because it's going to be a defect when that man said, I need you to submit all my heart. I've taken some of this heart to hate Bruce for a situation. So when he said, give me your whole heart, I'm like, here it is. He said, but it's 10% missing. I'm saying, that's what I got right now because Bruce pissed me off early. Had you caught me before Bruce came in, I, I don't care about what happened to him. Bruce, I told you to give me your heart. You know what I'm doing? I'm going to be honest. I'm working on it. I'm working on doing better. At least I can admit that I'm working on doing better. But he didn't ask me for a whole heart. Where, where, where y'all figure I'm at with him right now? Because I'm working on doing better. Okay, next time you ask, I'll be ready. Look, I passed through this time you weren't ready. You see how, this, this is what we got to consider. Everybody will start looking at this. You're getting ready to die. So now, how, how important every situation is now, and you're getting ready to die? Consider that when a situation come up to give it to somebody, they need to get a good piece of your mind. You need to tell them. They need them word. That, and I, that, that flat, oh, no, 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 no. Not letting this go. You getting this. It's all this. Then consider what you getting ready to die anyway. So how valuable this finna be? So I need to go ahead and just keep moving. Because the wheel. I got, that's all I want you to start doing. Start versing everything toward the wheel. Like they had that set and set versus set and set. That's a fight. Let's do that versus the wheel. Now, who you going to let win? Everybody else wait to see the fight. Who you going to let win? Y'all got me. Who you going to let win? Are you going to go ahead and you going to take it over and you going to fight it versus let his will be done? And his will is not going to be anything your flesh want to buy into and do. But you'll start to see after a while when you see the results of why you should submit to his will, why it becomes more advantageous for you, where it becomes more profitable for you, where it becomes the better way versus you keep trying to handle things. And let's see. You still ain't saved. And you've been handling it. So you that. Let's use that for the marker. You don't have the raw hog And this has been all you. How much confidence you got on you, you gonna handle the situation, you gonna do it. You've been handling this situation, you still ain't obtained it. You still struggling and stuck. You can't lose by not submitting to the will. You've lost by you not submitting. Because you hadn't obtained. This ain't hard for us. How far have you gotten? You, how many of y'all have handled it? You had to handle it. You had to do everything else. So you had to take care. You can't count on nobody else. So it's all in you. You know, if you don't do it, it ain't getting done. Where, you, where we at? And where we at on this real hockey Okay, so that, you, see, you see what I'm saying? So isn't it logical that we need to go back and start looking at how we really believe things? Is our confidence really in him enough to say, I'm going to let them have that. I'm going to trust the will. Are we there? I am. I just, I just, I just, man, you just get tired. You get tired of beating your head against a rock. And you ain't getting nowhere with that foolishness. You ain't going to get nowhere until you learn. But this, again, you ain't going to be able to do it because I just told you. This is going to be over a course of events. That means you have to stay ready. Remember I told you, like, grabbing something from somebody, be looking. Because you don't know who's going to be the person they're going to use. But there's going to be an event going to have to happen so you can see. I want to kill that person. I want to hurt them. I, wanna, I, wanna, I need to do something to them. And I want you to consider the wheel. I want you to let the wheel right. Let me consider the wheel. We're going to have to let that part go. The wheel, it ain't, it ain't can't be now, I'm going to go with your wheel, but listen. Try it again. I'm going to kill you. Then we, we, we really have to come subjected to the wheel and realize, let him do what he do best. People are only doing what they're doing to you because he allowed them to do it. So sometimes what I learned now, you'll fight back. 
Your fight back ain't with that person where he done told you you don't wrestle against flesh and blood. What would that word you wrestle against? Principality. Against rulers. This man ruled over everything. When Dow was getting cursed out, remember how he jumped, off, jumped down from his horse when they started to kill him? He said, he said, let him continue to curse. He said, Allahim had probably had caused him to do it. He said, he might look down on me and count this as a Baraka. Can you imagine that? He was getting cursed out by a man. He wasn't using what he was pronouncing. He called him a dog and how he should die. He was pronouncing it. Let all that happen. This man, look, they look at one of the Benjamites look at that. This man shouldn't live for what he said. He like, come in me, I'll kill him. He told him, what I got to do with you? He said, let him curse. He said, Allahim permitted him to do that. He said, who knows whether Allahim might look on me and this might be favorable for me. And it wound up favoring Dawood. But think of Dawood, he had the authority. We know he came to grip doing around. At what point did I trust him? See, even with Dawood, they realized I hadn't fully trusted him. <sighs> You're going to make it. You're going to learn how to trust him. Everybody. You got a situation. Don't, don't worry about them coming. They come. You just got to start dealing with them differently. At the end of the day, peace of mind beat everything. Out of peace of mind. I, I, don't, I don't sleep through my bed torment by that. I appreciate that. And then, guy, because I stopped wrestling through what I got to fight, what I got to do, just tired. You just you can't keep living your life like that. You know, you can keep saying you believe. Everybody said they'll believe, but everybody keep doing something different. He wanted to, he wanted to, he, wanted to, he wanted to looking at when somebody do something exact. When somebody gonna have enough confidence in me to say, this is will. He destroyed them places. I don't start down relationship with him when I see all them places getting destructed and destroyed over there, because I look at it, it don't affect me. When I look at it, do I chose them over you? I decide to flick them and leave you. If I decide to come and flick you, I need you to be good with it. I don't be tore up when I see them places get destroyed. Oh my goodness, what's going? On? Oh, oh, I thought, well, that was them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I appreciate me. He said, now when it comes to me, where you gonna be? I let it fall on you. Where you gonna be? Where they gonna put me and you at? You gonna quit believing me? You gonna doubt me? I'm just asking. All these things are important for us. You need to ask. I come out and decide I want to take a kid. Where are they gonna put us at? Where are they gonna, where are they gonna put if I decide I want a kid from the goats? If I want to take one from where are we gonna be at? He had a man had a house and the man had a room, never been occupied. Probably somebody tried to rent it. They probably tried to talk to him just about doing an Airbnb. So he could just get, you know, hell, extra money to pay the taxes. Say, so I, I at least Airbnb it until he comes. That way, nobody ain't living, ain't renting. Airbnb is every day. So you let them know they got a roll around the mood hot time. You got a roll, so it's open. No, nobody never been in now. Uh, Joseph Arimathea bought a grave, a cabal, and, and never nobody laid in it. I mean, they had somewhere they bought that people had already been in them. Already laid. He bought one and kept it. Nobody never been in this one. Kept it right there for him. If people bought things and set them aside for him, anticipating. Anticipating. Y'all got me? Are you anticipating him to come? What provision have you made? Where are you going to stay? Mm, it's amazing. He's coming back. What, what reservations have you made for him? What, what pre plan you made? He come, he said that Don had need of it. What you, let me guess. You finna clean it up now. He don't need to clean it up now. He needs somebody to say, it's ready. Y'all got me? That's what be our goal, is to make sure we ready. Y'all got it? The Ruach Hakadah needs somewhere where it can rest. The wind needs somewhere where it can go. It don't have to blow no more. It can stay there, and it can, and it can stay there, and it can abide. Y'all got it? But you got to have, you got to make preparations. Y'all got me? And that's what we're going to be working on, okay? That's two. <laughs> that's